we are going to construct a parallelogram a different way. This time we're going to try the diagonals bisecting each other. So we're going to have to make diagonals and make sure that they cut each other in half. So I'll make a diagonal. All right. Now we've got to cut it in half. How you cut it in half is you make two circles, one around each end. The circles have to be the same size. So I've got to make a circle around A and then a circle around B. They've got to be the same size, but they also have to cross. So they've got to be bigger than halfway across if you are using a compass on paper. So let's get a circle center and radius. You could use a compass if you wanted to and just make it AB. I'm going to look over here. The segment is 7.39. So if I make my circle 4, it's going to go more than halfway. Make it 4, it's going more than halfway. I need to find where they cross. That's that intersection thing. Get the intersection tool. Find that. All right. And then draw a line through the intersection. We have just found where this is getting cut in half. I need to actually have that point. So that would be the intersection of that and that. Come on. Point E is the intersection of A is the midpoint of AB. AB is one of your diagonals. So now we need to make another diagonal anywhere that goes through E. But it also has to be, you know, bisected, you know, half this way and half that way kind of thing. Lots of different ways to do it. We could use a circle to do it. For example, we could make a circle right there, going out to there, and now F to E would be half of the diagonal, and then E over to here, which is going to be G, E F G, right, intersection, would be the other part of the diagonal. So let us make a polygon. So corner corner, corner, corner. So, we did our parallelogram. Looks awesome, doesn't it? Always parallel. Let's back it up a little bit. So, we started by making two circles the same size around the ends. That's going to allow us to find the midpoint, to cut AB in half, to bisect AB. We need that point, because our other diagonal also has to go through there. But it also has to be bisected. Well, if you make a circle, and that's the center, drawing a diameter, FG will also be the other diagonal. Ta-da! The other way to do it that's not quite as intuitive is just draw a line through E from anywhere on the, cir the one of the circles. Anywhere, literally. And find where it crosses the other circle. And since these two circles are the same size, the distance from F to E and G to E will also be the same size. Not quite as intuitive because they're two separate circles as opposed to the one before where we drew one circle and it was a diameter. But this works also no matter where you put that parallelogram. Don't believe me? Well, we'll measure the slopes. Uh, maybe we'll measure. Oh, yeah, 0.01. Well, I always like 0.01. Or maybe I just always like 0.01. Slopes are. The same, same, two sets of parallel lines. 565, 565, negative 06, negative 06, 181, 181, 0101. No matter where we put that. So we did it by bisecting diagonals. Awesome.